Hi, I'm Anthony Hudson. But joining me as always is Gary Lyon. G'day, Hutto. It's fantastic to be here today. Here today, the clash between Western Bulldogs and Port Adelaide. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out winners today. The Bulldogs supporters make some noise as their side enters the arena. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. The captains prepare for the toss of the coin. Western Bulldogs kicking to the left of screen. Neither side inside the top eight. They're looking to build some confidence with a win today. Both sides look ready to get into the action. Just moments away now. And here we go. It's Western Bulldogs taking on Port Adelaide. Answer slams it onto the boot. Marks now and can send it back. Burn Jones sends one up towards the wing. The mark has been taken. Goes the long option. Takes the mark. Westoff won himself a free. Can he put it through? And the chance at goal is taken by Port Adelaide. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the board. Westhoff loves that goal. About to resume hostilities. English gets it down. Just put it on the boot. Daniel dropped what he should have taken. And now we'll have a ball up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Ball picked up. Norton gets right in his face. Fantastic pressure there. McRae pushes his opponent off with one hand. Dixon tackles well and wins a free. Showing some really good pressure there. Jonas takes the mark. Uncontested. With the ball now. Goes off the ground. Hartlett gathers it now. Sweeping handball. He's got the football now. Snaffled up by Liberatore. Scoops up the ball. Dunkley unable to hold on. Marks in a bit of space. Burn Jones elects to kick. Finds this and marks well. He drives it. Trengo got hands to it. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. Trengo goes with the kick. Johannesson marks it. He spears the ball. Finds himself in space and marks. McLean hacking it out of there. Keeps it alive. Under some pressure. Couldn't go on with it. Ball goes out. Umpire tosses it in. Taps it down. Releases by hand. Gives it to Johannesson. With the ball is Wines at full stride, receives the handball. Hands that ball to the opposition. Boat was taken high in the tackle. Move it on. He decides to go for home. That's a monster kick, and it's a goal. Boat couldn't be happier with that goal. Port Adelaide have kicked back-to-back -back goals. 
great start by Port Adelaide. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. That's a really good team goal. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. He has the ball. Has a runner alongside him. Great mark. Cleary puts it on the boot. Takes a nice mark. It's a long kick. Dug out the loose ball. McLean getting a chance for a break. Ball up call. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Quick handball. Doing well was Jonas. Finds this one all by himself. Ebert elects to kick it long. Releases the handball. Hacking it out of there. Can't take possession. Williams just gets it onto the boot. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Uses it across half back. The umpire calls for it. Thump clear. Gives the old don't argue. Gowers cuts it off. Bruce collects the loose ball. So close, but just a behind. Western Bulldogs are still down by a couple of goals. Port Adelaide could turn the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Dunkley with the opportunity. No issues with that drop punt. That's his first. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. You get the feeling something big is brewing. Swatson, taken by Ebert. A chance to reload the attack now. A spearing kick from Williams. Rockley soccers it forward. Finds the loose ball. Got boot to ball. Found space for an easy mark. Decides to keep going. Ebert with the mark. Uses it by foot. Takes that one strongly. Chose to kick it. Mark by Wallace. Looks up with a kick. Takes a strong mark. Uses it now. Steady hands there as he holds that one. 50 metres out. Gowers going for number one. That kick hits the post. The Bulldogs, no time to drop off. Less than a kick, the difference. Nearing quarter time. Burton takes a strong mark. Just kicks it long. Great grab. Houston with Western Bulldogs with some work to do as they go into quarter time, trailing by four. Port Adelaide got up and about early, and I bet the coach would be happy with this lead at quarter time. What stands out for you, Gaz? Port Adelaide are setting up really well defensively, and they're able to cut off these attacks with intercept marks like that. Thanks for that, Gaz. We're ready for second quarter action. Back with another set of bounce. Hammers it. He gets his hands on the footy. McLean takes it strongly. Sinks the slipper into it. Nice mark under pressure. A piercing kick from Jonas. Hartley wins the foot race. Is in his possession. He's picked up an injury. Gaz, can you give us more on that? Doesn't look good, Hutto. It's hard to see him coming back on. Does well to cut off the kick. Out of bounds, right on the 50. 
What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Great tackling technique. English read it best. Gives it, don't argue. Turned it over. Had plenty of the ball. Dixon comes away with the ball. Good mark there. Spears the ball. Ends up marking uncontested. Moves it on. Elects to kick. Marks now and can send it back. A stab kick from Johannesson. Collects the loose ball. Both puts it out in front. Has it now. Wallace finds possession. Just threw the ball. Opportunity once again for Port Adelaide to put one through. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. Going for goal number one. Can't take the mark. Port Adelaide, boat five. Players move as they look to provide an option. It's a foot race to get this one. Suckling links up with a chance to run. He just throws that ball. He goes for broke. Burton sends the drop punt on its way for another goal. He puts through his first goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. Port Adelaide with a handy break. They lead Western Bulldogs. 19 to 8. English thumped it clear. He gains possession. Releases by hand. Well collected. A clean pickup. A solid mark from Bruce. 20 metres out. No angle to worry about. He likes his chances from here. He loved that one. Western Bulldog, close the gap to five. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. English thumps it clear. Burgoyne off the deck. They can create from this penetrating handball. Williams collects it, lobs the handball. He wins possession, doing well to intercept that kick. Puts boot to ball. Wines wins it back. Rosie is blowing hard after that effort. Puts on a bump. Jeray lobs the handball. Bonson Pally leaps over the top. Chose to kick it. He takes the mark. Wants to move it quickly. Dunkley manages to get it onto the boot. Goes off the ground. McRae uses it by foot. Big moment to get the lead with this kick. Gowers love kicking that one. They're in the lead now. We're back in motion. Norton gets onto the ball. Gowers puts on a bump. Libertore just put it on the boot. No problems with that kick from Daniel. They get around him after that effort. Western Bulldogs have three in a row. Western Bulldogs by seven points. Dixon gets on the end of that handball. Going for goal number one. Good mark and looks to send it back. Western Bulldogs have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Johannesson moves it now. Doing well with the mark. Wallace kicks it. Burgoyne marks in a bit of space. Puts it on the boot. Houston was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Might be too far out to score. Looks to move it by foot. Rockcliffe takes the mark uncontested. Putting this one through would give Port Adelaide plenty of confidence. Cordy clears the danger for now. Sutcliffe doesn't want to let his teammates down with this kick. He drives it towards goal. Darts it through for another. That's his first. Pretty happy with that one. Port Adelaide reduced the margin. The game is back underway. Thumps it clear. Burn Jones on the ball. Cleanly picked up. Cordy sees off and winds. 
He gets above the crowd. Moved on by Norton. Bonson Pally runs after this one. Hunter with a short hand pass. We have a free kick. Going for distance with the kick. Bruce looking to track down the footy. Collected by Rockcliffe. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Goes with the kick. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Decides to kick. Bonson Pally likes his chances from there. Lloyd goes off the deck and nails the goal. His teammates rush over. The lead is now seven. We're back in the middle now. Dixon got a fist to it. McCray, Western Bulldogs with the upper hand at half time, leading by seven. Western Bulldogs have had a solid first half and will look to show more of the same in the second. Let's have a closer look at the stats. Port Adelaide are doing well to control the ball in the air. They are getting to the right spots to cut off opposition attacks. They just need to be more controlled from this point forward. Thanks, Gaz. Well, that's the first half of the match. Come back in a few minutes and we'll have plenty of players back on the field to begin the second half here. Umpire ready to resume play. English thumps it clear. Ran into a wall. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Picks up the loose ball. Applying the physical pressure. Going for goal number one. Always looked like a behind. It's under two goals now. Suckling ready to bring it back into play. A mark by Wood. Sinks the slipper into it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. Westock gets it away under pressure. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. Celebrating hard. The scores are level. What a nail-biter. Centre bounce. Swatson. Rockcliffe with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Hunter got the hands free. Clumsy tackle results in a free kick. Goes by foot. Off the deck. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. Gets some reward for his efforts. Six points the difference. Back in the middle now. Thumps it clear. Mops up the loose ball. Hunter steers it towards goals. Intercepts the ball well. Kick by Hartlett. Takes the mark. Slams it on the boot. Nice hands. Watts drives the kick. Lloyd determined to reach the ball. Hunter puts his body on the line. Hartlett has it. With a driving kick. Terrific mark there. Kicks along the wing. Boat marks. Elects to kick. Ball hits the deck. Gets a quick kick away. Finding the loose ball was Rockcliffe. Suckling. Handball's out in front. Williams just threw it. This will level the scores. A great goal. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Watts. It's all level here. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Back in the middle to resume play. English just swats it away. Liberatore couldn't snaffle it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. He gets his hands on the footy. He can take off after that handball. Bonson Palik had it, lost it. Found a way to keep balance. What a brilliant tackle! Great tackling there, Hutto. 
McClurry runs after the ball. Well picked up. Got that off just in time. Norton goes for it now. That one will really lift them. He's enjoying every second of it out there. Gets his first. Congratulated by his teammates. The Bulldogs lead by six. We resume hostilities. English got a fist to it. Well collected on the bounce. Fumbles the ball. Ball picked up. Cordy slips the tackler. Stands tall and marks. Ops to play on. Drives towards half forward. Western Bulldogs would love to make the most of this opportunity. Big kick required from this distance. Dunkley going for number two. Just hits the post and a minor score. Western Bulldogs lead is now seven. Jonas to bring it in. Plays on from the kick in. Releases it under pressure. Just sneaks in from behind. Western Bulldogs, but eight. Jonas, unsure of the next move. Marked by Clurie. Works the ball out of the 50. Spills the mark. Hurried kick. Moves it by foot. Rockcliffe couldn't keep his hands on it. Dunkley collects it quickly onto the boot. Collected by Houston. Needs a bit of a rest. The handball hits the target with the ball now. Jonas slams it onto the boot. Takes an uncontested mark. Looks up with the kick. The mark has been taken. Western Bulldogs haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Williams a long way out. He slams it towards goal. What a goal! That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. He's enjoying that goal. Port Adelaide now only trailed by two. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. About to resume play. English gets onto the ball. Liberatore unable to lay the tackle. Wines gets on the end of that handball. Moves the ball by foot. Finds a bit of room to mark. Not sure if he has the journey from here. A chance to steal the lead right here. Dale, there to mop up. Considering the options on the kick-in. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Found time to get it on the boot. Johannesson applying physical pressure. Big tackle. Jeray gets a quick kick away. Off hands from Clurie. Sends it clear of the contest. The ball goes over the boundary line. Deep inside 50. It's very tense at the moment. Ball tossed back in. Dixon with the shot. Wow! How good was that? That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. He celebrates hard after that. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. We're back in the middle now. Dixon thrashes it. Difficult ball control. Drives it out of the pack. Three-quarter time. Port Adelaide, 51, plays Western Bulldogs, 46. A quarter of footy to go. Port Adelaide walk into three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. He's excited about that one.
Let's analyze the stats. Port Adelaide are winning plenty of the ball. Let's see what this last quarter throws up. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. English won the hit out. The ball mopped up, pushes through with power. A free kick is paid to Rockcliffe. Rockcliffe sends one up towards the wing. Pumps the ball long. Cleanly picked up. Trengo gathers it now. He gets another possession. Works it across the ground. The ball ends up with Bruce. 50 metres out. Move it on. Looking to kick goal number two. Oh, what about that? That was really special. Smiles all round. Scoreboard isn't too much of a worry, given how long we have left. English with the hit. Wine grabbed it clean. Oh, someone's on the ground. Gaz, can you tell us what you saw? He's coming from the ground now, Hutto, but it didn't look right. The kick from Ebert. A chance to reload the attack now. Moved on by Trengo. The ball goes over the line. Liberatore heads onto the ground. Lots of pressure out there at the minute. The ball is coming back into play. Dixon leading the ranking points on the ground. He's on fire at the moment. A clean pickup. Gathered by Burn Jones. McCray will be the recipient of the free. He drives it. A race for the loose ball. Crozier goes for broke. The drop pass goes straight between the big sticks. He acknowledges the crowd. They're in front. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. We resume hostilities. English clears the contest. Hunter decides to soccer it. The ball spills to Norton. Picks it up. Kicks out of the congestion. Great mark in the pack. Got boot to ball. Marks that ball uncontested. Uses it now. Easily takes the mark. 40 metres from home. Burgoyne heads towards the goals. Drop punt straight through the middle. Look at them celebrate that effort. Port Adelaide are back in front. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Port Adelaide can be very damaging if you allow them time and space. They've been able to find space way too easily today. Jonas links up with a chance to run. Bo was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. They're doing really well to choose some time off the clock here. He goes it alone. Hits the post, and it's a behind. Port Adelaide lead by six. Suckling deciding where to go with the kick in. Takes a simple grab. Rosie whacks one on the boot for goal. He just loved that one. Port Adelaide with the edge right now over Western Bulldogs. Thump by English. Slams it onto the boot. McLean determined to reach the ball. Soccer's a kick. Going for goal number three. They get around him after that effort. Just two goals in it. Punched away. Wins the race to the ball. Hit the man hard. Dunkley now. He takes aim. Ball is touched, and just a minor score. Searching for a teammate, plays on. He'll get the free kick. Bruce with a chance, if he can keep his cool. Not too far from goal here, just has to kick truly. 
no issues with that drop pass. Three goals so far. Great stuff. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. They've taken the lead. Thump clear. He's got the football now. Scoops up the ball. They can create from this. He's having a big game. Crozier might kick a goal. Nails the goal. He's enjoying that goal. Western Bulldogs have kicked the last three goals. Western Bulldogs by seven points. He did really well there and gets the reward. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Ends up with Dale. Burgoyne steals possession. The ball ends up going to ground. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. Finds a way to goal along the ground. Burgoyne celebrates with the fans. What a tight game we have here. That's a really good team goal. It's great to watch, Hado. Plenty of excitement. Back in the middle now as the Rucks go at it. Hammers it. Ebert on the ball. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. English searches for a teammate downfield. This is kickable by his stand. It's normally a good shot on goal. He takes the shot. Gower's controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Ten metres out. A drop cut through the goals. That's two now. Finding his feet in front of goals. Gower's getting the crowd involved. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Back with another centre bounce. Punches it clear. Takes possession. The ball spills in the tackle. Scoops it up. Quickly onto the boot. Couldn't complete the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. Burnt Jones gives away a free for in the back. An opportunity for a third goal. That's something to smile about. Crozier loves that goal. Western Bulldogs have kicked the last two goals. The margin is 13. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. He did really well there and gets the reward. Centre bounce. Big thump from Dixon. And now Wallace fights the good fight. Finds a target. Western Bulldogs are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Does well to cut off the kick. Takes a nice mark. Taken well at ground level by Houston. Got the hands free. Picked off the deck. Gowers throws the ball away. Uses it by foot. Burnt Jones takes a strong mark. Burnt Jones, one out in the square. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give you... What a game. What a comeback. It kept me biting my nails to the very last minute. Your final word on today's game, Gary. They weren't far off the mark, but they just couldn't keep their momentum together for long enough. Well, much appreciated, Gaz. And the final result is Western Bulldogs 89 and Port Adelaide 76. Thanks for joining us, Gaz, but that's all we have time for. Thanks, Hanno. I've enjoyed every minute of it.